All right, looks like we're ready to get started. First off, my name is Mike Keelan. I want to thank everybody for taking time out of their busy schedule to be on the webinar we're doing. I am excited to get this training out to you because this is a brand new training that I have never done before, but it has taken a long time. This is kind of years and years of experience uh, condensed down into something I'm calling the Moneyball Growth Formula. One of the reasons I'm calling it the Moneyball Growth Formula is Moneyball is probably my favorite movie. It is definitely my favorite business movie but probably one of my favorite movies of all time because I'm just fascinated at the, um, you know, just the way they kind of quantified in a movie some of the most uh, amazing business facts you could ever want to understand or know, uh, especially when it comes to sales, team building, organization building, networking, direct selling, whatever you want to call it, whatever you do. Uh, that I've ever seen, okay? Just the way, if you understand these things, and if you're just watching it from a movie standpoint, it's just cool. You just feel good when you watch it. But I have taken the time to go through and study it, and I believe that I've taken, uh, I think you're going to find here that I've quantified a lot of the facts that are in it, and I'll show you how those apply to real-world scenarios, and more importantly, how it's going to help you grow your business, okay? Because that's the only reason you're watching this, and trust me, um, this is from 21 years of experience as an entrepreneur, a networker, top money earner, and so on, that uh, I'm able to do this. Now, I want to jump right into this because I want to. I got a lot of slides to cover in a short period of time. Is what I've done is I've taken over the over the years that I've been in doing this. A lot of times, I like to interview people. I like to ask them what are what are things they need help with, where are they having difficulties, and so on, because I believe that the market is going to tell you what they want to know. Right? That that's just the way it works. Is they you know a lot of people want to just tell them what they think, what they think is a good idea. So I've decided what I was going to do is be smart about this. So what I did is I went to a lot of people from uh, you know anyone from making a few hundred dollars a month to people that I know have made you know, 10, 20, $30,000 a month in, in networking. And, uh, you know, and this applies to anything, whether you're in sales, insurance, it doesn't matter. Uh, anything has to do with growing an organization, sales, business, and so on. Okay. So just let me get that. This is not just a quote unquote network marketing training. Okay. Even though that's what my background is and where I've learned a lot of skills, I have definitely married those into other, other, uh, you know, other industries. Okay. So what I did was I went through and I asked what the, I asked a lot of these people when I would call them and I asked them, I said, what are the top five things you need help with to grow your business? If you could ask me anything or if you could, if you're having an issue, an issue or struggling with something, what would it be? And I wanted to see if there was anything that really stood out that became repetitive, that was something that everybody or there was a lot of people that wanted and you wouldn't believe it, but I believe you'll probably already know what that is. And the number one thing that came back to me was creating duplication. Now, I believe that when I heard this, and I know that when these people said this, that duplication was just a word that was almost rehearsed in the fact that they've heard it so many times that they believe that that was their answer or that was the problem or that was the significant issue. But most people don't know what duplication truly means or what they're really asking for. What does what happens? Where does growth come from? That, you know, how, why is my organization not growing? Where, why are people not motivated? All these different things a lot of times fall under the guise of duplication. What I'm here to do is go through this and share with you what I believe are solutions to that problem, quote unquote, uh, and really grow your business. Okay, so that's why we're here. So let, us, let me tell you what we're going to cover. Uh, where duplication come f comes from, okay, like I just mentioned. Is duplication a pipe dream or is it something that is possible to have? I believe when you see what I will present to you, that if you can identify your core task, you can identify where it comes from, how it works, that it no longer becomes a pipe dream. If you've been in the industry for a long time and you don't have any success, then I can see where it might seem like a pipe dream and you're always looking at other people wondering why it's working for them and not for you. Duplication and motivation myths. I'm going to dispel some of those things. And I also want to talk to you about why I believe some of that is complete crap, uh, like motivation and what you can do about it to really build your business. Because a lot of people think that if I can get my people motivated, duplication will happen. I'm going to definitely dispel that one. Okay. Systems and solutions for duplication. Hey, if you don't have systems that you know can work, uh, that become solutions for people, then duplication never happens in any capacity. So I'm going to show you that. Recruiting formula, just touch base on some of that because I like to stay, uh, you know, kind of keep my message even killed around everything to make sure that you understand how it all flows together. Making data driven decisions are going to hammer you with that one. Automate the recruiting process and so on. Now, here's what I will tell you that because of this, and understand this isn't going to be some super long 
PowerPoint presentation, video, whatever it is, I'm hoping to record this. Uh, this is going to be something though that you should be able to re reference a few times, but I'm, I do want to take my time. So, you know, I don't know how long it's going to last, but it could take a while. Okay. Now, what it's going to do for you is going to help you identify core tasks that you may not know that you are missing. What are the things that you have to get done? Uh, that is very important. It's going to significantly increase your productivity. Who likes wasting their time? How many were in a raise your hand if you like wasting your time? Hopefully you did not do that. Uh, it's going to definitely give you a significant marketplace advantage. Many, many, many people have no idea what I'm about to show share with you. Okay, they don't know it. They don't know how to find it, and they don't even know what to ask, what questions or who to ask to get the answers that will significantly increase productivity due to the fact they know what the core tasks are. This kind of information is what positions you as a credible marketer and leader okay this is why people follow you when you know these kind of things and more importantly all this is going to boil down is to grow your business this is what's going to help you grow your business and at the end of the presentation i do want you to stick around please 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 take the time to stick around to see what i have for you at the end because i think you're going to love what i'm going to share with you towards the end to kind of bring it all together okay so so make sure you try to stick around here now warning info overload coming i love this picture uh, somebody also, I saw this in a presentation one time, I started laughing, I thought it was great, and I found it on the internet here. But, uh, you know, if you, this is probably a lot of the information going to come across, but you don't have to remember everything. I just need to uh, put it all out there so that we can kind of get the full overview, and then we will dial it in and dial it in and dial it in and dial it in, okay? So I'm going to throw out a lot of stuff. I'm sure you can listen fast as I talk fast as well, okay? Now, uh, I want to, real quick, if you've never heard of me, seen me, know about my background or anything like that, I'm going to take a real, real tiny little sliver of time because I think it's important for you to see my see what I've done so that you can see that I probably could have or should earn the right to speak into, what, into your life a little bit and, and show you what kind of success is. First off, I want to prove to you that anybody can be successful and anybody can change. Uh, this is me looking like a complete loser. Alcohol. I was a broke alcoholic bartender for quite a while, uh, just because I had no direction, uh, didn't know what I wanted to grow do, be when I grew up in, in life, and so on. Uh, but uh, thanks to uh, you know plenty of people praying and going to church and so on, I don't drink anymore. I've got a great family. This is my awesome family from far left. I've got Isaiah, my wife Stacy, uh, my daughter Alexis, me, and my son Zeke. And that's what, to me, success looks like, okay? It is a family unit uh, and so on. So that's, to me, that's what, what I think success is. Now, why uh, can I bring some of these things to you and have credibility? Let me throw this out at you. In every company I've been in, I think I've been at least in the top five, uh, in, uh, I'm talking top five recruiters, and on most cases, at least top 50 money earners and probably in the last 10 years, I've probably in any company I've been in, I've been in a lot of the top 10 money years, okay? So I've continued to expand on my success in business. Uh, this goes way back to years and years and years of 21 years of being in this. I've been on the cover of magazines. I was in a company called Zango. A lot of you have heard of it. Great company. Uh, awesome people in the company. I had a great time there. It was just fantastic. And had one of the, you know, four out of the, uh, three out of the four best-selling training CDs. I mean, now what? You may or may not have heard it. Uh, been on the cover of their magazine. I helped launch a company a couple years later called Zervita, uh, doing great. Uh, Mark Jarvis is the owner of that company. Man, that guy is amazing. Okay, if you're, uh, he's he's awesome. Uh, just a great company, great group of people over there. Uh, I had a great experience there. I was the number two money earner, I think, in that when it first came out. Uh, for some time, I was in that. I got into a company called Evolve Health. Was one of the top recruiters there, under fifty thousand dollar bonus. I have uh, helped launch multiple companies. I've helped put strategies together for multiple companies. I've spoken outside of networking. I do a lot of social media training, marketing, and so on. I've been guest speaker on television shows. Uh, typically, any training I do, I pretty much pack them out on a regular basis, and so you can kind of see that that's that's you know that I kind of have an idea what I'm doing. Okay, and you can look it up. And these are just some fun family, you know, photos that I've done. Been to Thailand, bought the toys, uh, and so on. But again, back to my family. That's what success to me looks like. All right. So all that being said, let me jump into what I'm calling the Moneyball Growth Formula. And I got to slow down here, take a deep breath, and I want you to follow me with this because this is uh, this is going to be great for you, I believe. Okay. Now, <clears throat> a couple years ago, a movie came out based on a true story. Uh, Brad Pitt was the main guy, along with Jonah Hill, and uh, Brad Pitt played uh, Billy Bean, who was the Oakland Athletics 
uh, general manager, and 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 he was basically what the what the whole story was is that the New York Yankees during that period won the ended up winning the World Series, uh, and they were you know they had a massive massive budget going against the smallest uh, you know budget in the entire uh, you know MLB, which was the Oakland Athletics. Okay, and what had happened was uh, the movie goes into they they you know it's the next year coming up. They've lost some players. Uh, they've lost Giambi. They've lost a few people, and so on. And they're in with all the scouts. These are all the scouts in the in the room, and they're looking for talent. They know they got to rebuild the team. Got to rebuild the team, okay? And so Brad Pitt starts uh, so listening to all these guys, and they're going on, and they're asking him. And he ends it up, and he finally says, "What's what's the problem?" He asks him, "What's the problem?" And you know, the one guy looks at him and says, "Well, the problem is, is we've got to replace Giambi. We've got to replace." This guy, we've got to replace this guy, and so on. And then Brad Pitt comes back to him and says, you know, you're not even looking at the problem. The problem is, is these guys, you know, the, the Yankees have this budget, we have this budget, and we've got to think differently. We've got to think differently. You see, I think one of the reasons that so many people are failing in networking right now is there's been so much of the exact same training regurgitated year after year after year after year that it's, it's literally, it reminds me of... Uh, of I and I'm from Amish country, so I can use this with politely. But it's like if you had an Amish buggy that you were, you know, you you decided you were going to ride from point A to point B in an Amish buggy, and everybody else was able to drive cars, and not only cars, they were able to drive Ferraris, and you still just because you heard the same thing over and over and over again, you decided to use the Amish buggy. Okay, the problem is, is a lot of times you don't understand what you don't know. Okay. So anyhow, uh, Brad Pitt goes with goes out to Cleveland. He's looking to help recruit some people and so on. And it kind of goes south on him due to this guy. This guy's Peter Grant. Peter Grant, uh, played by Jonah Hill, is uh, a mathematician. He go, went to Yale and he studied economics. And so what he does is he presents, and I think this is a, this is kind of the pivotal time in the movie, and it's fairly early in the movie, that he talks about that there's an epidemic failure to understand what is really happening. And I believe that it's the same thing that goes on in many sales organizations, many companies that are trying to get any kind of growth together, okay? And he goes on, he says, well, you know, he says, he, he finally just, and, and Brad Pitt looks at him, who's Billy Bean, the, the GM, and says, okay, go on. Why do you think that, uh, you know, you know, and he says, okay, I'm, I'm just going to shoot you straight here. He said, people who run ball clubs think in terms of buying players, okay? Your goal shouldn't be to buy players, but to buy wins, but in order to get wins, you need to get runs. But in order to get runs, you need to get hits. Okay? Now, I know I went through that real fast, but I've watched that scene over a couple hundred times. Because that scene right there will give you a success formula that you didn't even realize you were looking for. Okay? Like, it's the same thing when it comes to what we do. In order to get a check, you have to have a sale. In order to have a sale, you have to have a rep. Right? But in order to get a rep, you have to, and therein lies what we're going to cover. Okay, in order to get a check, you have to have a sale. In order to have a sale, you have to have a rep. In order to get a rep, you have to blank. And when I show you the case study that I'm about to show you, I think you're going to really start to, to, to get, a, get a hang of this, okay? See, in order to explode your organization, you must understand where reps come from. And, and I trust me, I've done all the trainings and so on. And I believe some of the training that I've done is a little bit flawed. Not all of it. Most of it's good, legit stuff. But in this day and age, I think there's ways to do things differently. And here's a big one for it. Here's a big one that I think is significant that, we, that we're going to follow. Uh, that's going to be real important to what we're doing here is that people lie, numbers don't. So, so anyhow, uh, Brad Pitt ends up hiring Joni, or you know, uh, Billy Bean hires uh, you know Peter Grant to Peter, Peter Grant to come out to be his his guy to help put this formula together. That is pretty much a mathematical formula that a guy named Bill James put together, who was a mathematician, that said that you know you you got to look at the, there's looking at things that most people don't look at to truly get success. Okay, and I'll I'll throw this out at you uh, as proof. Okay, when you look at your back office, uh, your you know your end reporting of your sales and your and you, maybe your growth of your business, if you're in a, anything that you know you can replicate with people. I believe that your back office lies to you on a regular basis. 
It's typically the first thing people do when they wake up in the morning. I'm guilty of this, that I would wake up, and as soon as I woke up, first thing I'd do is I'd go in and look at the numbers, right? I look at those numbers. The problem was, is those are what we call lag indicators versus the most important part of this is what we call a lead indicator. Please, please follow me on this. I'm telling you, when I get to the meat of this, you're going to get it, okay? But why your back office lies is most people are looking at what the end result would have been, but they don't know where it came from. Where did that guy come from? A lot of people ask me this for years. How did you build such a large group so quickly? I couldn't explain it to them. Couldn't give it to you. I gave you, I gave you a general idea. I did actually, uh, from a very rudimentary uh, position, I wrote down names on you know yellow pads and so on, and I did this. But until I learned to use some some new age tech, uh, new new school technologies, uh, quantify things, scale things like that, track my numbers, everything changed. Now this is one you got to write down and you got to put it on your forehead if you are in business. If you are not using data to drive your decisions, you are in trouble. The reason is, is if you're not using data, you are making decisions based on opinion versus fact. Numbers don't lie. This is a very, very big one. That's why I'm talking slow in my, you know, in this voice here. If you're not using data to drive your decisions, then you're in trouble because then all of your decisions are made by opinion or ideas or concepts and so on. And if you can't track the data of your decisions, then you're in trouble the whole time. You're gonna be losing money, you're gonna be wasting time and so on. In fact, I'm gonna prove it to you right now by giving you a case study. This is a real world example uh, of a company I was recently in that I, uh, I started learning all these principles. I already had a good, good background of what I did. I started completely from scratch. I didn't bring over teams. I just, I put all the systems in together myself. I put all of the marketing material together myself. Everything I did from these, not with what I did here to put this case study together, this was stuff that was just fresh and that I knew how to do and I put together. But I want to show you why this money ball concept and uh, growth pattern, growth formula goes along with this. Okay, so I'm going to give you a case study. And what we're going to do here, because this will help you, is I'm going to reverse engineer my results and then show you how those came about. And then we're going to show you how you can get them. Okay. So in my last company, I had 45,561 customers. 45,561 customers. Wow, that's pretty cool, right? Okay. From that, because it was in, uh, it was in a, you know, it wasn't in a, it was a dead company. I'm not going to go into detail what company it was or what I did. But because of where those 45,000 customers came from, was an organization of 3,225 sales reps. Okay. Where did those 3,225 reps come from? I actually had a process system in place, a funnel per se, that uh, had some videos that I put together. I used the right, you know, I put the right messaging together and so on. And I had a three part series that I, that I drove traffic through. That was my funnel, my three videos. The last video, which was the one that basically closed the deal, which is the final presentation, had 8,865 views in it. The video before that, which was kind of the social proof video is what I called it, had 18,000 views. That was kind of a testimony of what was going on and so on. And then the first video that was the first, first touch of the funnel had 30,433 views to it. And this was all around about a year, year and a half time frame that these numbers happen. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty significant. And here's now I want you to do this. I want to I want to show you this because this is very important. If you follow this formula is you if you don't know how to identify a customer value or a rep value or a lifetime customer value for any business you have, you're, you're going to be dead in the water and you will be out of business in no time. Because you don't know if it costs you a dollar to acquire a customer or five thousand dollars to acquire a customer, but when you can identify and quantify the numbers, it will allow you to do things most people have no idea how to do, and more importantly, the competition can't even keep up with you. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to show you this. Now I got forty-five thousand customers that came from three thousand two hundred twenty-four reps. You break that down, that's a fourteen customers per rep average. That's pr that's pretty good, right? 
the average customer in the marketplace and the product that we marketed average about five dollars per customer which means that for every rep that came on board the annual income per rep active rep that was in the business averaged over seventy dollars in my pocket okay think about that this is how you quantify so what really what one of these reps was worth was was that okay now I'm gonna ask you this question go back to that slide that I had all these that we reverse engineered which of these quote-unquote stats do you believe is the most important if you were to look at all these numbers and I had you to circle one which one do you think is the, the the one that should have the most emphasis on and the one that matters the most well I'm gonna tell you it's that one 30,433 sizzle video views okay and I'll tell you why that is okay because that shows me that if I had that many views that many reps came about that means that for every view for any time how many that right there tells me how many people I need to take a look at my video and right now you're looking at a 9.4 percent conversion rate okay it's almost a 10 percent conversion rate of traffic that goes there which means that for every hundred video views no matter how they got there it totaled nine reps into my organization okay for every hundred video views that went in there so the question becomes this how do i get a <laughs> hundred a thousand ten thousand plus views more importantly how do i track it scale it and automate it okay so let's go back to let's go back to our movie so here we are we're over halfway through the movie and billy bean has hired uh peter brandt to come in and peter brandt has given them the formula or given uh you know billy bean the formula on how to identify and how to use numbers to identify quantify and simplify going after players going after business going after people whatever you want to say in this scenario to do this and obviously it says it's it, they use the numbers and so on and they looked at every, every single little thing they were tracking law of averages using conjunction with a duplicatable system empowers people to do the right activity let's let's back this down a little bit and slow down and read this again the law of averages used in conjunction with a duplicatable system empowers people to do the right activity like i said if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing it's never going to work so however i believe that the system created must be formulated in a way that solves your number one problem okay so let's talk about that let's talk about what a system is now in network marketing terms uh, most people say network marketing or sales or you know building downline is a system i say that's crap i say that's not true you the reason i say that is that's a theory that is an idea that is a you know a, a hope it happens kind of thing a real system similar to why i have mcdonald's logo right there is a system is a step-by-step -step proven and predictable pattern of activities that will guide you to success in business okay regardless of who's in there this these are some of these phrases right here you have to write down because these are the ones that have changed my career and changed my life the system is the leverage by which you turn ordinary people into extraordinary performers great businesses do not look for extraordinary people great businesses look for ordinary people and leverage them with extraordinary systems Wow, we're going to take some time on this slide right here because this will change your career. The system is the leverage by which you turn ordinary people into extraordinary performers, and great businesses do not look for extraordinary people. Great businesses look for ordinary people and leverage them with extraordinary systems. How many times have you been told to go out there and produce your chicken list? Okay, your chicken list being, you know, the, the guy with the most credibility and influence that you want to go to, and you go talk to him and he shoots you down and you feel like you're, you know, oh my gosh, here we go again, right? How many times have you you thought that oh my gosh I just got it I have to have the best and the brightest in my business okay if your business the way you are currently doing it has to do with finding the best and the brightest that is absolute a hundred percent proof that your business does not have a system in place that the average person can become extraordinary it's a fact 
okay? The one thing, the reason I got the numbers that I did in my business that I showed you a minute ago was I took the time to develop the systems that took all of the heavy lifting out of the hand of the average person. If we went back to the McDonald's slide, think about this for a second. Does McDonald's hire C, you know, uh, Harvard business graduates to run the thing? No. It can hire a high school kid. Okay? The reason they can hire a high school kid because there's a system in place that they can plug anybody into and that person becomes an extraordinary performer because the system's in place. This is something that comes up all the time. This was per part of duplication that came up with the very first slide that I showed you. They said, well, you know, I, I would love to, I want to get duplication. I just can't get my people motivated. Okay. How many times have you tried to motivate your people? All, everybody tries to motivate their people. Here's something. It's called the myth of motivation. And I suggest to you, and I throw this out to you, it says that rather than you try to motivate people to increase productivity, create systems to increase productivity and motivation will naturally follow. Instead of trying to jack them up to do better, put a real system in place for them that they can uh, get results and they'll be naturally jacked up. That's what it comes down to. That's what people are missing. Too many times, why do you think people, um, you always have to go to all these meetings? Okay, in this day and age, everybody's meeting, 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 right? How many people never show up to your meeting? And if you're basing everything, and I'm not saying there's not a place for meetings. There is. There's a, there's a, there's a place for building relationships. But if your business is, if your quote-unquote system is having a meeting every week, you're dead. You will be burned out. You will not have success, especially in this day and age, because you can't compete with the new technologies that are out there, okay? And I believe that we don't need to motivate people. We need to inspire people. Do you know how much more fun it is in business when all you're doing is talking about fun things and just building a dream? The, you know, can you imagine? Can you imagine how good it's going to feel to drive that Ferrari? Can you imagine how good it's going to feel to buy that new house? That's the stuff that you need to do to motivate people, to inspire people. But having a proper system in place creates that um, that that arena for success. Okay, that's what we're that's what we're doing. Okay. Now the other thing is, I see people do this all the time: is don't make something simple complicated, just so you can seem more credible. It's taken me years to understand that, and I try to stay. I, what I say, I try to stay as dumb as possible, because if uh, if everybody looks at how educated I am and how, how you know, or, and, or the number one money earner or the top people in your company are, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with striving to be like them or to have the success they are. But again, if you're looking to uh, exponentially grow a business quicker, faster, you know, and, and scalable and so on, there has to be a system in place. That allows you to not be the, I call it the queen bee center, to where you have to know everything so everybody just gravitates around you. You should be able to just point and smile. Point and smile. Is there a tool for that? Is there a, you know, is there a video for that? That kind of thing, okay? Now, I am going to go through this. I want to change a little bit of pattern for you. And I'm going to go into what I call the my five-step action plan uh, process. Now, here's the thing. I'm not taking out hardly any time at this because this is on a couple videos that I've done and I've done some extensive trainings on them. You can get videos, audios. I'll show you how to get the videos of these of this training in more detail because I do believe if you've not watched a lot of those videos that I have out there, uh, you're missing out on some really, really good stuff. But I want to show this because this is going to lead me into the last part of what we're going to cover here, okay? So this is, and I've heard this said multiple times and I, uh, I got this, I've heard this many, many times. I said it myself, okay? that success is getting a large group of people to do a few easy tasks over a sustained period of time. And I believe that is absolutely true. That's what we call the easy button, okay? What I did is I learned this. I learned that no matter what, that if I could learn how to recruit, um, that I could I could get my, I could recruit my way out of any slump, no matter what. You've always heard that, everybody's always taught that, it's in all the books, blah, 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 right? There were two simple things that you had to learn how to become a master at to be very successful. Procurement and processing. Procurement is how you get leads. You gotta learn how to generate leads. I'm gonna show you that here, uh, probably in one of the upcoming some uh, upcoming videos, webinars that I do. Okay, 
and processing what you do with them. So I'm going to talk about the process and then I'm going to show you inside that process is where the procurement comes into play. So I've always I've always had this what we call the five step action plan. The five step action plan was something that kind of gave me the recipe that I could follow that I knew this was the order of events that I had to put in place. Okay. The first one was prospect, okay, looking for somebody to, con to, to contact who I was going to present to when I, and then when I had the opportunity to follow up with them and then to scale the thing, I was going to repeat it. This was it. This is, this is everything I basically uh, put, you know, in the last 15, year, 15 years of doing business, 20 years or whatever, uh, that I use this formula. I've, I've advanced on these things and, and I put them together. Like prospecting just has to do with lead generation. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through some of these things here uh, with you later. Contact, okay? The initial call, I talked about that in that training series. How to present, how to use tools to present, what, what you're gonna use. This to me is where I started to implement the system to make these all work, okay? How to properly do follow-up by asking the right questions, but more importantly, typically follow-up was automated when I did it. And then obviously repeating it, keep swinging the bat. Again, back to scaling. If you understand, when we went back and we said, when I asked that one question as I went through, what was the most important thing? And then we narrowed it down where the reps come from, where to, where do hits come from? And then I said, well, where, where do you, you know, where do you get reps? That's where it comes down to swinging the bat. Okay. Now here's what I'm going to, I'm going to let you know. So, so I wanted to, I wanted to kind of go through this video to basically give you an overview of some of the things that I want to continue to cover in a series because if I make some video that's nine hours long you're never gonna watch it but if I can just get you to start thinking outside the box think a little differently uh, hold your attention enough to where you're gonna want to know some of this stuff what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down in separate videos these types of things I'm gonna show you how I put together an automated funnel I'll show you one that's currently working right now to generate uh, leads traffic and more importantly conversions okay which equals money I'm going to also show you where that traffic comes from and how to get it. This will be a little more advanced, but I think when you see it, it's going to rock your world, to say the least. How to scale your business. How do you go from one rep to 3,000 reps? How do you go from 3,000 to 10,000? Uh, I think one of the largest organizations took me a couple years to build. I had maybe 15,000 people. I had... Uh, I think I had about 25,000 in another. Um, I got paperwork to prove all this. <laughs> this isn't theory. The other thing is I'm going to identify your cost per customer and show you how to do that and get your return on investment because I am going to show you some other tips and tricks that will not cost you money per se because I'm going to show you how to take a dollar and turn it into two. Okay, let me repeat that. I'm going to show you how to take a dollar and turn it into two uh, using some of the new systems and new techniques that I know how to do out there um, and really, really build your business. All this is going to mean is this. You're going to scare your competition. No one will be able to compete with you if you learn these things. Uh, you will come out of nowhere. You will be the person that everybody wants to follow. You will be where everybody starts buying the training material from, uh, come to the events and so on because they probably can't figure out how to do it. But you're going to know that this, how the psychology works. You're going to know how the systems work. You're going to know how to do all these types of things. This is going to take a little bit of time, but I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. Um, you know, I've, I've been working on this stuff for years and years and years. I know how to quantify it, make it easy to understand. And uh, I know I went a little bit all over the place on this, this one, but I just think that if you hear some of these things right out of the gates, you're going to see that this is some pretty amazing stuff, especially when you can break down those kind of numbers and you know, most importantly, how to get to them, how to make them happen. And more importantly, how to make them happen fast. Because if you can do that, then we got something really growing here. So how do I get 100,000, 10,000 plus views? And more importantly, how do I track it, scale it, and automate it? Well, here's what we're going to do here. I'm going to tell you that no matter what, if you are not on my email list, make sure you go to whoismikehealy.com. Whoismikehealy.com. You'll probably have to scroll down the page there to find that. Sign up for there. I do have that networking, network marketing video training course. It's an eight video series on there. It is totally free. There's nothing to buy there. Uh, that uh, it's, it's fantastic. It really, really is. I have had thousands and thousands of people view it with, and got nothing but great, great feedback on that. You can go in there and get that for free. Just click on that button. It'll take you right there. Uh, if you'd like to get on my email list, make sure you do that because if you do so, then when I do the next training, which is coming up uh, not too sh uh, not too far from now, far from now, I'm going to show you some pretty crazy stuff on how to find your target market, 
where they're where they where all the fish are and how to how to get them out of that pond. Okay, and when you see some of this stuff, you're just going to be shaking your head, wondering how how you haven't figured this out before. Okay, so all that being said, I really really do appreciate you taking time to be out on on this webinar, and uh, you know you're you're awesome. Uh, again, thanks for all the great kind words everybody always gives me after these presentations. But if you'll follow me on some of these videos coming up, I'm telling you, I am going to show you some stuff that will really really uh, freak you out in a good way, and you're just going to be you know just amazed. So thanks again for being on here, and have a great one.